Okay, so today I'm going to try to install Cinnamon, Cinnamon Desktop Display Manager on Proxmox. So the reason for that is I want to see if I can use this daily. So I want to try to install this on my laptop and use it as a daily driver, using it as normal as a normal distro and having a quite a powerful virtualization hypervisor software manager on the back end so i haven't done this before so i'm just going to do it on my main proxmox machine not that i have a second one but i'm not going to install proxmox on a second machine to do this so this just pretty much has to work right so i'm going to use the shell in here but uh... right as you can see this is my proxmox machine it's a real machine <laughs> so i'm gonna type something here like new new fetch and it should show the information there all right but uh, i'm not gonna work on uh on that side so let's just uh let's just keep this open right so i have a little list here it's a very short list to install cinnamon it's basically just a desktop so uh, let's go for it sudo app update so we're going to update things and then sudo app install task cinnamon desktop which is the cinnamon packages and so on light dm is the the login screen and so on and then i don't know what that is anyway let's just let's just run all of this oh wait let's let's just update it first so luckily i can cut and paste in here because it wants to type anyway okay no sudo app update let's just update that so no sudo what am i doing here so i'm working in root is there any other pseudo pseudo they just kill all the pseudos all right it's updated and then we're gonna run this it's probably gonna take a while uh obviously yes right so it's gonna install that i'm gonna make it so it doesn't start the desktop at reboot because i want all the resor resources for the vm so well for this machine anyway so when i need to do something on proxmox itself i can just type start x to actually start the desktop cinnamon desktop but normally i don't want to uh, take away from the vm's resources running a desktop environment but as a daily driver you want to uh, actually started up automatically so uh, for starting it up automatically auto starting on boot yes or no so if you don't want it to start up it's systemctl disable light dm and then if you want to start it systemctl enable light dm so that's the only difference but you have to edit a file the x init rc to make sure that it starts one well, in this case it starts manually so i have to put in this command in that file anyway i'm just gonna do that and then i have to every time say uh say start x to start up the desktop so let's just wait for this okay that seems to be it so let's check so let's disable for for me i'm gonna disable uh light dm oops my good i was working in uh in windows here <laughs> wrong terminal right so let's uh see any errors disable well it looks like it's working let's disable that and then let's just do this file so i make sure it doesn't start up 
Alright, so I'm going to go into this file and then I'm going to copy this one line in there. And hopefully that will do the thing. Control O, Enter. Control X. And then I shouldn't run it in here. I should run it in on the machine itself. I wonder if I put StarX in here, what will happen? I'm just going to do it. It's going to be hilarious. Right, so let's start X in here and see what happens. Something is happening. Oh! So it actually starts it on that side. That's good. That's good. That is good. So now, mouse is working. Mouse is working. And start menu is working. Oh, it looks good. Looking good. Ooh, why is there, why is there no connection though? That is strange. Um, let's go. Okay. I'm going to download the cinnamon uh, mint Y package. So it looks more like cinnamon. Okay. I had to do a few things um, to get the, to get the network starting. As you can see, yes, it's running now. BNP three is zero, so the network manager wasn't actually working. So you just have to run all these commands. <laughs> you have to create a connection. So NMCLI, add Ethernet, a wired connection, and then configure the bridge. So that it uses the bridge. You just basically set up the network manager to use. Um, so that the network manager can work because it was unmanaged and disconnected. Or just unmanaged. So I want to manage it through the network man manager and not through Proxmox by itself. So in my case I wanted a static IP address. Still use a static IP address. So that's for that. And then... Activate a connection and a bridge, and then make bridge bridges managed. You run this command, and then you restart the network manager. So I'm going to leave this commands either in the description or on my blog. So you can just run this, and then the network manager works. Okay, so. In order to make um, the cinnamon desktop look like actual cinnamon Linux Mint cinnamon, the default, you have to install uh, the cinnamon Mint Y packages. Right, but first we have to install a uh, install manager, a, a software manager. Which is either by default cinnamon, the cinnamon desktop doesn't come with one. So it's either GNOME software or Mint install. Now I haven't actually installed the Mint install. So let's see what that one does. Unable to locate package. Okay, that it gave me that pro error on on other installs as well so this one i know might work yeah the gnome always works i don't know maybe the mint install is not doesn't exist anymore i don't know discontinued okay so the software manager is being installed if i go to If I go to my physical machine here, it should say GNOME software. So we'll just wait for it. So I'm going to install this because there's no browser on here. There's no browser on here. No Firefox. It's usually default Firefox, which I usually remove as quickly as possible. Firefox sucks. 
into complete purple aired dumpster fire right so let's just finish that quickly okay let's see if uh, it's installed gnome hmm Ah, oh, it's just software. It's just called software, but it is GNOME software. Okay, so in GNOME, you can just search for a browser. So I was struggling a bit because it didn't show up, but you have to give it a little bit of time, I suppose. So Chromium browser. In, and then click install, but I'm running the install on the back end now, so I don't want to press it now, but yeah, you can do it for here, it's pretty cool, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to open the browser, and just to see if everything is working fine, because I need to download those uh, Mint Y packages, let's go to the system, system settings and themes, so I want to change the themes, obviously, it's default add whiter whatever that is this is gonna it's very limited there's nothing in here so i want to add a few packages or at least a mint y package right let's see if chromium is installed yes sir okay let's i wonder if there's no ways you can find the mint y packages for you i think i've checked before no oh like that no so you can even update stuff here system updates so that's that's nice uh where's my chromium now let's go already chromium okay it's open chromium so uh let's go to the mint linux mint packages Okay, um, what is the honor? It's meant themes, so we just type in themes. So I can't remember lacquer. Mint cursor themes, mint themes, yeah, it's this one. Uh, keep, and then like that. Is it done? Okay. Right, and then we have to open uh, this. Uh, let's go here. It should be in downloads. Just see quickly. Open with software install. Yeah, that should be it. So you can literally just where you downloaded the the dot tap file. Uh, just right click on it. And open with software install so it's going to open the gnome software installer and say install you will install the themes at the in the right system folder right so it actually installed let me just see so you can right click on it and say install but it takes a while so you just have to wait for it uh, okay so I didn't download the mouse pointer the exact mouse pointer so that is a bit tragic so as you can see boom it populated it just now so i want the mint white dark that's the default linux mint uh, theme i haven't um you see the icons i haven't populated either so that one is tragic right and then again when mint white dark aqua Yeah, and then I just have to get the icons in there quickly. Okay, it looks like the icons populated. So I'm going to give the, if it doesn't want to install it this way, uh, you can do it through a command which I will provide. So they use the mint y sand. And that is pretty much mint, Linux mint cinnamon. Um, 
you can change the start menu by saying configure enable that and then change change the icon to a mint icon but uh, i don't want to go that far i just want some of the structure of mint and how it looks okay let's close that obviously i can change the background as well let's uh, yeah the backgrounds is in here so you can download the backgrounds from then from linux mint packages site as well all the news backgrounds pretty cool and then go into backgrounds and then you have to add the file that you've downloaded um what is in here mint themes yeah that's just the themes and stuff anyway that is looking pretty good so now you can i wonder if yeah obviously you can install LibreOffice, and i'm gonna install the brave browser i mean this is pretty useful useful office document viewer okay there's something there um i can totally do this as a daily driver uh, i think i'm in root that's why yeah it's that's why it says elevated flip so you can create a user a user that's not root still um yeah i don't know i can totally use this as a daily driver on my laptop and have the iPod. Oh yeah, I wanted to connect uh, to show the hypervisor actually while in here. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, connect to the hypervisor part. So 10.0.0. So this is the IP of this machine. Uh, and then the port, um, it's swap eight double six. Yeah, let's go this is so cool so now i'm gonna use i don't have to use uh um two machines <laughs> i can just use just use one machine to uh actually run my proxmos Prox, proxmox so if you don't have another machine to install proxmos on boom you can just do this and i can run all my all my v, uh, vms in here let's see if my if my PF sense is running. Yeah, it's actually running in here. Pretty crazy. All these uh, VMs is in here. This is so cool. And this is totally doable. I mean, okay, yeah. <laughs> I should fix my browser and all that because I have to run it through the command line. But yeah, this is this is better than cool. I don't know, this is totally, I mean, it is just the Debian, Debian, another purple haired um, type of distro, which is a bit of a problem, I don't use, but, I don't use Debian, but uh, there's nothing else I can do, I have to run Proxmox, so that's why I'm just running Cinnamon on here, to make it more usable and friendly, and give it, give it a different look. So yeah, that is pretty much that. I'll uh, link to all the commands that I've used to make this work. And that is pretty much it. Good. Wow. <laughs> so much.